our bags and um, we're gonna go head back to the hotel now to try and check in um probably be about two o'clock by the time we get there i'm not sure if they'll let us or not if not we're just gonna sit around but we're both absolutely shattered and really flagging now because obviously we've been up since quarter to three um so fingers crossed we can get back in at the hotel it's very bright <laughs> It appears that they have changed all the bus station. It's all now been redone and it's all open different areas. But there's no signs to tell you where like the Good Neighbour hotels are, the Dreamcastle, the B&B, Kirad, that kind of thing. There's no bus timetable for it and no signs. The only sign there is doesn't have that one on it. Um, so we are sitting here, bus spotting, to see which station, which stop it stops at. So this is the new bus station and you get it from bus stop E. You see that on the side there. So the bus is just uh, coming in around there. It's over there, it's gonna come around. So yeah, a bit of a palaver. We had to walk to everyone to find it, but there we go. So we have our room, it is on the first floor and we are 1030. So to get in here, they give you a code. You don't actually have keys, so you have a code to remember. And then in we come. So we have, oh, it smells nice and clean in here. So we have a nice big room. You should come in, you can see a nice big room. So first thing you see is desk. We've got a single bed here with a little lamp and side table. It's a stool, television, another single bed, double bed. And then you've got storage and hanging over there. Downside of these rooms is they don't come with a safe, which is, you know, disappointing, but never mind. And then the bathroom, we've got a nice shower, big shower head, nice uh, big basin, standard toilet. <laughs> so that's, uh, oh, you actually get to shower down and stuff on the side here as well in the shower, so that's quite handy. Uh, there's a couple of pegs in here. Um, not actually not too bad there's only two of us staying in and we're hello <laughs> there's only two of us staying in here so oh, we've got a nice view down to the courtyard so over there is where we have breakfast good evening so we are rested we've had a sleep <laughs> um room's not too bad we've got as you saw in the video we've got double bed and two single beds um it is now 10 past six and the park's open till 11 o'clock tonight so we are going back in now and um, we'll have some dinner somewhere and um, watch illuminations uh, the lift yep yeah. is that lift just got trying to find the lift um, yeah I think it is to the left here it's a bit of a rabbit war in these corridors um, so yeah we're going to watch fireworks tonight and uh, stay out till late <laughs> As I said when we were earlier, so it's bus stop E, it stops at all the five good neighbour hotels and it's literally the furthest corner when you come out of the park. Thank you very much. <laughs> Oh, 
C'est peut-être vous, non which is as pretty and beautiful as ever. Really enjoyed it. We are heading into Fantasyland to see what uh, we can get on there. The queues aren't too bad. I think the longest is about 35 minutes. Oh, I tell a lie, the longest is 75 minutes for Thunder Mountain, but that's to be expected with all the refurbishments. So I'm gonna see if we can get on Small World. Maybe even the carousel. Ooh, fighting. Oh. Taking Hannah on a small word and her reaction is, ooh, <laughs> we love that, don't we? <laughs>
Did you enjoy that? Yay! <laughs> side entrance but unfortunately they've cancelled it due to clever weather. Apparently there's a uh, talk of an electric storm coming but nothing so far. So it is now nearly 25 past 8, um, tummy's rumbling. <laughs> so we are going to get something to eat and we are going to Casey's for hot dogs. So I've gone for a cheese and onion hot dog, fries and a drink and then came to 15.27. Hannah's got the same. Uh, some of you may know that we put a geocaching halt at Disneyland Paris. Um, unfortunately, Gareth and Laura said they couldn't find it, so I was a bit worried that somebody had taken it. But no, it's still here. So there's been a lot of people signed it, and the last person, the person that signed it was a cat on the 5th of the 3rd, 18. So thank you guys all for signing it still, and obviously we're going to hide it again. Make sure you try and find it. We've just come off of Thunder Mountain for the second time in the dark. Really good. Poor Hannah has a wet leg. <laughs> She got uh, wet this time. She seems to have got it twice now on uh, Good evening. Good evening. On um, Pirates Caribbean you got wet. Yeah. <laughs> she sat in a wet puddle. And uh, just now as well. <laughs> Poor girl. <laughs> so, sorry, really good. She knows. So we are now going to go and find our spot for the fireworks. It is uh, 20 past 10. Fireworks are 11. Um, and enjoy those. Disney Illuminations. Within each of us is a dreamer just waiting to be awakened. We all have the magic to unlock this inner child. But sometimes that inner child needs an invitation to come out and do it. This is your invitation to dream.
ever seen illuminations, which is good as hell always. Although I seem to remember there was a tangle bit with a lantern, but I know it's in Florida one. I could have sworn it was in this one as well, but obviously not. Um, the first time ever everybody so sat down, which was so much better because everybody could see, so there's no kids on shoulders or anything. So I don't think it'll ever happen again, but it was so much better. Even Hannah could see, bless her. <laughs> so we are now following the hordes out. As you can imagine, there's quite a few people going out because uh, it has shut. So yeah, we're possibly going to get an Uber rather than the trains, uh, the buses, but we'll see when we get there. Tonight, and uh, tomorrow we're at the studio, so we'll see you bright and early. Good night, guys.